Is quarterback the Niners' biggest need? Like, duh, we think it is, but think it through. Is it really the Niners' biggest need? Like, is Jimmy Garoppolo the worst starter on the team? Is he worse than Tom Compton? <laughs> Whoever the center is. I'm not leading you into an answer here. Uh, Kev, maybe you start this one. Is quarterback yeah. the biggest need on the team? It's an important no, the position. Biggest, the biggest need for the 49ers is to get some new people in charge in Santa Clara County and bring them back home because that is unprecedented what happened to them. And if you think about, like, just think about living like that, getting kicked out of your own state, your own home, and having to go through that, we need some new leadership there. Bring them back. Get them back in Levi's. That's what they need. Maybe they should move back to San Francisco. Maybe they should have never left. Leo. I'm going to say, yeah, it's the biggest need because when you have a quarterback that can do more than what Jimmy Garoppolo can or C.J. Beathard or Nick Mullins, that's going to fill holes and and get the team to a more competitive level sooner. I, I saw Kevin giggle when I said fill holes. That was unintended. <laughs> unintended. <I'm nine. laughs> but that's just what it does when you have a quarterback like so the Houston Texans they're in a clear rebuild but having a guy like Deshaun Watson is going to make that rebuild more about three years than the five-year window and right now with this 49ers team you're not expecting the amount of injuries to come on in 2021 so they're probably not going to pick this low for a while I'd say their biggest need until I mean, and as long and long as long as something hasn't happened while I wasn't looking, their biggest need is left tackle until Trent Williams signs that contract. Because as we saw what Justin School did against Green Bay, and we're going to see this weekend if he improves any better. Oh my uh, God! Yeah, that could be a problem because there's no left tackles that really jump off the page, at least in round one to me. And if they don't get Trent Williams, I don't like any of the free agents. I think Alejandro Villanueva, the Steelers' left tackle, is the best one, and even he has his. Problem. So if they don't get Trent Williams, good luck to whichever quarterback is back there. Good answer. Yeah, kind of bouncing off of what Mav said, like I honestly think that, yeah, you could have any quarterback you want in that position. You could have a Tom Brady, you could have an Aaron Rodgers. It doesn't matter who you have. That's a great quarterback. A Jimmy Garoppolo in there because, look, we had Jimmy Garoppolo the season before, and I know everybody's sitting here saying, Jimmy Garoppolo's a problem, blah, blah, blah. They weren't saying that the season before. So now all of these people are coming out just because he had that bad game in the beginning. Yes, he did. And then he got injured. Okay, now it's all his fault that Nick Mullen sucks, that C.J. Beathard sucks, that we don't trust our quarterback. It's his fault that he got injured. It's his fault that his ankles aren't that great. It's always on Jimmy. But the real issue is the offensive line. That's who we need to go after. That's what we need. That's what we need to address because you could have any quarterback you want. If that line is not fixed, they are destroyed. Yeah, I'm starting to lean this way too. Like I've I've been trying to run Jimmy Garoppolo out of town forever because it's fun. I mean, come on, look at that, look at that face. <laughs> Why would you not root against that guy? But honestly, <laughs> he's not as bad at his job as McGlinchey is at his. I mean, he's better at his job than Brunskill is at his. Like I, he's a top twenty quarterback in the NFL, which is not what you really want. And of course, Leo, like anytime you can get a future Hall of Fame quarterback, you do that. If Deshaun Watson's sitting there, yeah, that's the, you know, even if quarterback isn't your biggest need, that's the first thing you get. But I don't see that. I don't see Deshaun Watson hanging out. I mean, you might say that Zach Wilson is the next Deshaun Watson. I don't think he is. There's a way they are. He's going to be there. So it seems to me that uh, if the best you can do is Kyle Trask or Jimmy Garoppolo, I like Kyle Trask a lot. As we saw last night, he can't overcome a, a weak supporting cast. I don't know that. Justin Fields could, or Trey Lance could. So maybe the answer here is improve the offensive line because they've gotten two quarterbacks hurt this year, not just one. Two, you know, improve the defensive backfield because no one's under contract for next year. Um, maybe the answer is take a quarterback in round two and keep Jimmy for one more year or get rid of Jimmy and bring in someone like Mitchell Trubisky. But you could argue that really they need to be – I know, sorry. You could argue that they really need to be spending their first pick on – offensive line and not quarterback why would you ever take a quarterback in round two when you get the five years with, with round one but four in round two like that well that just no one plays sense. five years anymore that, that's well, you know what I mean, that's though. coming around in the deal. nfl you know yeah, yeah. whatever Grant. if you get a if you get a good quarterback you want to have him for five years not four like yeah that, that's what baltimore did with uh lamar 
And yeah. it's what it's what Green Bay did last year with Jordan Love. Here's the thing with Kyle Trask, and then real quick, Leo, you'll go. His stock is down now, but it's going to go up after he goes to the Senior Bowl because he's going to be the best quarterback there. So I actually think he's probably going to sneak into the first round because quarterbacks – teams reach for quarterbacks every year. It's the way it goes. Yeah. Quarterbacks. Yep. Leo, what were you going to say? So your famous video of your Jimmy Garoppolo impression, what were you doing? Patting the football, patting the football, patting the football. Right. So right. that's kind of the issues with the quarterbacks for the 49ers now. And I'm not going to say that's why they got hurt, but that doesn't help your offensive line. The offensive line is basically uh, make up for something that's that's ugly. Uh, I I probably worded that wrong, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, it, they they get the blame for the quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo is he is a top twenty quarterback, but he does have quite a bit of limitations. And I see him more as the what it, it feels great when things are great, not necessarily yeah, great, hey baby. guys cut. Come on, you know, I'm going to take you guys to the championship. This is on me. He was last year 13 and 3. He was a product of Kyle Shanahan calling up hell of a play design, a gr second rushing offense in all of the NFL, and a great defense that basically Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have to do anything in the playoffs and still got to the Super Bowl. He didn't have to do anything. He was bad in the playoffs. Still better than Mike Person, though. Still better than their right guard, <laughs> still better than their center. I mean, maybe he maybe he wasn't maybe he was worse than Mike McGlinchey, but Mike McGlinchey's gotten worse since then. I mean, I, I would love to replace uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. I just feel like, geez, if you bring in another guy, even if it's someone you really like, like Zach Wilson, how long is he going to last behind Mike McGlinchey? I mean, or is he just going to have to run for his life the whole season? Chrissy, what do you think? Also, what if, like, how do you know that that guy's not going to turn into a Johnny Manziel? And big flop. Like, I mean, you never That's know true. what you're getting with a rookie And Jimmy's quarterback. kind of, you know, with Jimmy. I mean, he's, his record is his record. He's, he's been on the team. Yep. If they, they the get the, if they get the chance to get Zach Wilson, I, I think they have to do it. That's my – I don't think they get the chance, but I, I think you can't pass up Zach Wilson right. and, I mean, the other – Trey Lance as well. Yeah, well, I, I, I really like Trey Lance too. I, I, I'm just worried that also he would not make it if they're in that 15 range. I think they could have a much better chance of trading up to get Trey Lance. And I'm not as concerned with the lack of collegiate experience as most, because I don't think he's going to start that first year. I think he's going to kind of yeah. do what Jordan Love did this year and sit and learn. That's the thing. I, I'm not convinced that any of these quarterbacks in this draft, aside from Lawrence would be better than Jimmy next year. I mean, Zach Wilson, very intriguing. That's yeah. a, quite a jump in speed of play. He's going from the speed of the, the game is at BYU yeah. to the NFL. Is he's ready to start week one. I don't, he should, if Mahomes sat for a year, I think Zach Wilson should sit for a year. So that's even more reason the Niners should be like, well, unless we get Matt Stafford, how can we really justify Matt Stafford? Any, <laughs> yeah, and even Matt Stafford, like, how many losing seasons has that guy had? His face is bigger than mine. It's, 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 the, it's, 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 it's the Lions. It's, it's the Lions. It's the Lions with Matt Stafford. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, this is the NBA. I this mean, I think Matthew Wiseman Stafford is, is one of these quarterbacks who is paid a lot and is probably top 10 fringe. And I don't think you can win with quarterbacks like that. I'll if take top it, 10 fringe over top 20 fringe any day of the well, week. That's, that's why you're the not in the quality same. control and Grant is. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying with Stafford is he's so expensive. You're, you, you need him to he's play cheaper like than Russell Jimmy. Wilson, but he's playing like Matthew Stafford, and that's a big reason. Like, you could pay he's Russell cheaper Wilson than Jimmy in a year. You could pay Russell no Wilson way. in a year, and he would still win ten games a season because he actually is special. Stafford is like special minus.